So you're interested in HD Home Run, or yet purchased one and are maybe having some issues getting things to run smoothly. No problem. I'm here to break down different devices, initial setup, and more, so let's get started. The HD Home Run is an incredible device that allows you to run a live TV signal over your home internet router and is probably the best IPTV service on the market. Its simple plug and play setup makes it fairly easy to use and in just a few minutes you can be up and running in no time. HD Home Run comes in several different flavors with the cheapest model being the OTA Live 2 tuner device. The latest version of OTA Live is the Connect Duo though its predecessor can be had for a much cheaper price. With that being said, the newest model has been said to have some improvements, so bear this in mind when making the decision to purchase. For cable users, there is the Prime device that gives you access to three tuners. Unlike the OTA Live, Prime requires that you purchase a cable card from your cable service. The cost of these cards range from 2 to $4 a month, as the price is based on your location and any additional fees or discounts your cable company may have. The Prime device is definitely a great replacement for cable box rental fees, and it's something that you should consider, especially if you are just getting a new cable service. A new Prime device could be coming out any day now, but there is only one model available at the moment. The final device that bears mentioning is the Extend, a two-turner OTA device that can broadcast from any room in the house as you have the option to connect to the router through Wi-Fi. In addition to this feature, the Extend has the ability to broadcast live signals using the H.264 codec, which allows up to 1080p resolution where available. Now, if recording live broadcasts is something you are interested in, there are a few things you have to understand. First and foremost, you will have to provide your own storage. You can easily set this up through a USB hard drive, a computer or a laptop, or a network-attached storage device. Second, you will need a way of actually recording the TV shows. Silicon Dust have their own DVR service, which costs $35 annually, which makes things much easier in terms of setup. I'll be creating a separate video for setting up DVR with the service and another alternative, so look for that in the near future. So let's jump into a basic setup using my OTA Live device as an example. The first thing you want to do is screw in the antenna, then plug in one side of the Ethernet cord to the HD Home Run and the other side into your router. Finally, plug in the power cord and you should be all set on the hardware side. Now time to get the software. You'll want to download the HD Home Run app from your device of choice. I recommend using the PC first, especially if you have an older model, as those applications offer the firmware you need to update the device. It will be needed if you plan to take advantage of Home Run's premium services available for OTA devices. On the Windows operating system, you will be met with the setup program first. If you connected your HD Home Run device correctly, the application should detect it and spawn some initial details like number of tuners, source type, and status. The next tab, titled Digital Antenna, will scan and search for your available channels. Hitting the Scan button will start a search for channels. As you can see, information like channel numbers and channel names can be seen once the scan is complete. Remember that you can connect additional devices, so if you happen to purchase another one, you can click on this drop-down arrow and scan it in also. In the next tab, you can set up your storage device for the DVR service. Once you have gone through all your options, click OK. This will take you to the application, which if you set up everything correctly, should be showing the channels. Once you have confirmed that everything is in working order, you can start trying HD Home Run on other devices that support it. Many Android and iOS devices will work as the HD Home Run application can be found on their given app stores. I will be doing a Kodi application setup video, and I also plan to do a Plex setup in the future as well. Remember that wireless connections rely on a strong signal and can have interference. Also, when it comes to OTA devices, your antenna signal range will be very important when it comes to picking up channels. If you want to find out how far your broadcasting towers are for your signal, head to the FCC website for digital TV reception maps. Here you can enter in your zip code and find out the distance and strength of each signal. I'll put a link to the website in the description below. For now, this is the core your resident entertainment techie, signing out.